Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. May I now invite, first of all, uh, Professor Dr. Ahmad Ali Khan, Dr. Ahmad Ali Khan, who has been kind enough to host this evening in honor of uh, Prince Marek and Lady Petrina, and uh, their parents, and uh, all of you coming here tonight. And I'll ask Dr. Ahmad Ali Khan now to formally welcome our guests uh, for tonight. Good evening, thank you. Uh, His Excellency, Dr. Shoket, man. So, so tonight I thought we'd concentrate on the his history of Royal Society of Medicine, uh, 200 years old, with uh, over uh, 30,000 doctors who are trained. And we have got 400 professional development courses every day, every night. And we have got largest library in the world. And uh, with all these facilities in this place, uh, I'm so pleased and grateful to announce that uh, uh, Syrian Petrina, uh, Princess Petrina, has joined that list of the great uh, nine famous scholars President uh, and the fellows, and uh, of those, what I remember is one is the Darwin, other is the uh, Sigmund Freud, and Pasteur, and among the five fellows, they've got the books near enough, named after them, like Edison Disease, Pages, Hodgkin, and you'd be the tenth to join that great list. So I. <laughs> So what, what I say to you is this, that uh, this Royal Society of Medicine, founded on the great tradition of the contribution of the 1001 invasion of Islamic scholars <coughs> of the golden age Harun al-Rashid of Abbasid Caliphate of Baghdad, where civilization began before its sack by the Tatars. It was the first sack, of course we know what happens to the second sack of the 45 minutes, which is not very far from here. Um, so what I think the Royal Society Learned Discorder did was to, they, they, they took the, all this glorious contribution, the spectrum um, and the masterpieces, uh, the book of references of all these great scholars, Muslim scholars, who translated the Greek into Arabic. Our chief guests, uh, His Serene Highness, Prince Marek Kaspersi, to come and respond to the welcome, and uh, we'll take it from there. Thank you, um, 
Dr. Shokat and Dr. Khan for your speech. Uh, Prince Mosin, Princess Katerina, doctors, professors, distinguished guests. Uh, my wife and I are very pleased to have you here tonight. We are honoured to enjoy your company and your, uh, as your esteemed guests. Actually, I was thinking of a collective noun to describe all of you tonight and um, I searched and searched and couldn't find the right collective noun for this group of people. Um, I was appalled at what I found. Um, I did some research and apparently the academics here, including myself, uh, are a pomposity of professors. I couldn't say that. The doctors here are a doctrine of doctors and you can imagine my dismay. Um, sorry, Francis. When I discovered politicians are a lie of politicians, a stab of politicians, and a panda of politicians. So I searched more deeply for less pejorative words for the group of people assembled here tonight, and I did find one. It described a friendly, warm group of friends, um, and I think that covers you all tonight. So tonight I'm going to refer to you as a collegium of friends. It is Her Highness's wish that people, the people of the Sultanate benefit from the endeavours of the order of which I am very committed to. I am privileged tonight to bestow knighthoods to several distinguished members of uh, the guests tonight. I can't leave you without saying a few thank yous, and I know sometimes they're a little bit boring, um, but I would like to thank very much our esteemed host, Datu Professor Dr Ahmed Ali Khan. Uh, he's the genesis of this dinner, and he's put a great deal of time into this evening. He's also nominated a number of people receiving awards tonight, so thank you, Datu. Thank you also to Dipatwan, Dr. Shokat Khan. Your professional and amiable influence in the planning of tonight can be felt, and I understand you've also expended much time in making the final arrangements, so thank you very much. And we must not forget our Lord Kevin. Yes. Thank you, Lord Kevin, <laughs> was my next <laughs> words. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Kevin at the back, who has been responsible for organising many such events in the past, such as this one, some much, much bigger. Technical and protocol details are so important and your expertise is appreciated. So thank you, Your Lordship. So the three of you have brought together this collegium of friends. And so I appreciate that very much. And Patri Princess Petrina and I are very much looking forward to meeting you all tonight. So please, if we don't get around to seeing you, come and see us, please. I would like to meet every individual one of you before tonight is over. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, your Highness, um, may I now call upon Her Serene Highness um, Princess Petrina to come and give us uh, a, her talk. <laughs> Short and sweet, I hope. I'm delighted to be here at the Royal Society of Medicine for the first time. I feel very honoured to be accepted, though given the esteemed company I keep regarding current and past members, I'm even more honoured by my membership. My role in human research ethics is administrative in nature as I coordinate and sit on an ethics committee at Flinders Medical Centre, which is a university teaching hospital in South Australia, Adelaide, where we live. My main interest in human research ethics is on patient rights and vulnerable populations. These groups are at risk of being taken advantage of, and this is where our research ethics committees come into play. 
Human Research Ethics Committees play an incredibly vital role in the advancement of new drugs, devices and medical care. They also have an essential role in ensuring medical research is conducted with merit, integrity, respect and fairness to all participants, no matter what country they are in. And this brings me back to the Royal Society of Medicine. I believe societies such as the RSM are not only valuable, but also critical in promoting discussion about such issues, whether it is medical ethics or medical issues. I feel many countries can benefit by having organisations such as the Royal Society of Medicine. So thank you all for honouring us tonight with your presence, and I trust you'll have a pleasant evening, and I look forward to meeting further with you. Thank you. Her Royal Highness Princess Ajan Uto Kamsa, Princess of the Sultanate of Boyan, has been appointed as the Royal Grand Master of the Royal Order of the Noor of Boyan. Her Royal Highness or her appointed representatives are authorised to carry out the investiture of postulants pursuant to the authority bestowed upon her. This investiture is authorised and registered as NSB UK 001 and her serene, His Serene Highness Prince Marek, International Ambassador of the Order, um, has been authorised to officiate at this investiture. Could we please have His Highness Prince Moshim Ali Khan? happy to be here today and this is a very special occasion and a very special uh, place is known as the Royal Society of Medicine in London. One of the oldest and the great credit goes to all those medical doctors and scientists and each and every one more or less they contribute. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, it, it has been a uh, privilege and honor to receive this uh, award uh, in recognition of the services to human humanity, world peace, and also in dealing with people with uh, mental illness, which is a subject of my interest. I think today's um, event was a great one. It was attended by distinguished people. This was to honor both Dr. Ahmad Ali Khan and myself for our services to the state of Boyan. And it was certainly a privileged, privileged one. And um, I think that uh, we were very lucky to have um, Prince uh, Maharik uh, from, and his lady from uh, all the way from Australia to be with us. And of course, the distinguished other guests. The event was certainly to look at the people of Buyan, a princely state, a sultanate in the um, Philippines where people are obviously suffering and we are all there to help people and humanity 
And so this event was to recognize some of those that people that who have been helping directly or indirectly behind the scene. And it was a great event. Those who have been trying to help peace and prosperity in different parts of the world were given the prestigious Order of Noor, which you see here. It's a very lovely star. And the, the concept behind it of light is, is something I find very inspiring. But um, our, my own personal reasons for being asked to become a member were my work in, as a founder member of World Peace and Prosperity with Prince Masim Ali Khan. And this is a, a multi-faith, multinational, multicultural uh, foundation which draws people together from very prestigious people and also very simple people. And we, we, we are promoting peace and prosperity in the world. My name is Prince Marek Kaspersky and I am here at the Royal Society of Medicine in London uh, for a reception for myself and my wife who is a senior associate of the Royal Society of Medicine. We're also joined by a wide variety of people uh, from London and from Pakistan and uh, enjoy their company very much at this reception.